Um, so I am a paediatric nurse um, and I specifically specialise in um, children with liver disease. Um, and what do you like about your work? Um, so um, I really love my job actually, I've always really loved my job. Um, before I did this specialism I worked on the ward, now it's slightly more office based. Um, but. I absolutely love working with the children. I love helping people. I know that's such a cliche thing for nurses to say, <laughs> um, but I genuinely do. And every day is different and you get to learn something new every single day. Um, it's absolutely fascinating. Um, I think a lot of people think that nursing is this, you know, doctor's assistant role and it's not like you're a practitioner in your own right. Um, and you, you get to learn so much um, about everything and, and get to help people with that knowledge. No, oh, lovely. Um, and how did you get started? Um, so actually, um, children's nursing is something I've wanted to do for, for a really long time. I, I spent a bit of time unwell when I was younger um, and spent some time in hospital. Um, and I remember having a nurse that looked after me that was absolutely amazing, like the best person ever. Yeah. And I remember just thinking like, I want to be you. That is so cool. Um, so I kind of wanted to be a nurse since I was like seven. Um, and it was it was really good actually because I'm not a naturally smart person right. and now you do have to have that relatively smart personality to, to be a nurse more so than, than before um, and it kind of like pushed me to work a lot harder because I would never have got into nursing with the grades that I was getting when I was a lot younger so it like pushed me to get there really. Oh, that's good um, and so what would you say to anybody else starting out today? Um, so I would say always do subjects that you enjoy, not subjects that you're good at, because, um, you know, no matter how good at something you are, you have to enjoy it to get to that level where you're really good, especially in A level, because you have to work so hard at it. Well, I did, especially. Um, you you spend you spend so much of your time learning these subjects that if you don't enjoy them and you don't find them interesting you just you, that natural talent of being good at something won't get you far enough mm -hmm. um you need to do something that you have a passion in and enjoy and no matter what that is you know go for it really mm -hmm. i think you end up you end up really um if you do just do something that you're good at it I think you've almost become not as good at it because it, you feel it was a natural thing and then it becomes strenuous and, a, yeah. and something you don't enjoy. Um, so I was going to ask you is like, obviously with, um, obviously working with children must be hard. How, like, obviously I imagine you do take some of that home with you. How do you try and like separate that? I mean, like you say, it's great being able to help people, but I think at some point you have to maybe, I don't know, I, I imagine it can be hard. Yeah, I mean, it's the hardest part of your job, really. I mean, in, in, in paediatrics, um, you know, it is incredibly emotive. But then at the same time, it's I find it much more rewarding as well. Um, so I think that it's really natural to take things home with you. And I think that if you didn't, I, I don't think you, you're putting enough into it. Mm. it. You know, you're not putting the passion into it that you need to. So I think it's really natural to take things home. And it's something that you learn and it comes with time. Like that when I first qualified, oh my God, I'd have dreams about being at work. I would like, I was there constantly. It was just, oh, no. I was there. <laughs> and then like, as time moves on and like, you get a bit more of a life and, <laughs> and you know you look at these like older nurses that have been in it for so long and you're just like how do you do you, you see these nurses and you think that they they don't care as much because mm -hmm. they seem to like come in do the job and go home but they, they don't that's not the case yeah. they've just gotten that that barrier and they're used to that and that's something that you learn and develop and I think it's really natural to take things home and that's okay as long as it's not affecting your mental health and mm -hmm. it's getting too far but actually there's a lot of processes in place now in the hospitals to help you with that um, and obviously when when we lose a child it, it's incredibly upsetting but there's a lot of support there when that does happen. Um, yeah I think that's something that's kind of changed a bit more with the services recently isn't it like making sure that there is people in place to talk to. Yeah it definitely. It does just go down and then the other, other thing I was going to ask you when you said obviously earlier about um, you know like nurses they 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 have to be they're a lot more trained these days and a lot more academically uh, aware kind of thing I mean it's actually been there's been many cases where like nurses have kind of not overridden doctors but been like no actually I think it's this and like they they it's and they've been the one to actually call out something so it just goes to show really that you know you yeah. just as important if not more important it's that, just goals 
that's absolutely the case you know not I mean obviously the consultants are incredibly specialised in what they do but you know the junior doctors that come through yes they have gone to university for five years and yes they have got a lot of experience but actually when I've been working with children with liver disease for five to six years of course I'm going to know more about those patients than the ones that the the junior doctors that are coming in for the first time and although I can't prescribe the medicines I kind of know what hmm. needs to happen yeah. and things like that and but I've never really come across a doctor that doesn't expect that they know that and you know it has to be this really good relationship between nurses and doctors we can't work without them and they can't work without us yeah. and it's the same as the the hospital in its entirety everyone is just as important to each other from domestic staff to consultants to radiographers to dietitians if there wasn't one of those missing mm. the entire cog system would just completely go and everyone is just as important as each other and yeah i think that it's it's you know everyone respects that and understands that and it's it's incredibly important the hospital wouldn't run without those people no even even even, even the cleaners it, like the electricians who come in you know yeah. it's, it's can all... you imagine if there wasn't if there wasn't domestic staff we'd absolutely be rummaging <laughs> piles of rubbish yeah, it'd be awful. <laughs> yeah because we don't we don't have time to always edit the beans no things like that we're doing our job and they're doing their job and you know it's all incredibly important